In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make uh, very creative and very attractive uh, price tags or the name tags uh, where you can use across uh, on your uh, slides. And uh, this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the price tag shows or uh, comes from the top and it says that number one quality now only $20 this applicable only for three days terms and conditions apply and with the same thing with a different color and the different uh, price lines price tags uh, along with the shadow there now how are you going to use this particular slide in your uh, presentation for example uh, I'm just going to show you okay this is uh, a brochure which I'm going to sell for example and the price is I'll just say okay this is uh, $25 I've just copied uh, the price tag and put it at the top of this particular slide so you can use it for any other purpose any other way you want to show something information uh, vital information or some important information you want to uh, display it so what do you need to make this particular price tags uh, you need a powerpoint version so the spelling is wrong uh, any latest version where merge options are available which is union combine fragment intersect and uh, subtract uh, only union is enough for this and then my PowerPoint version is Office 365. So let's see how we can do this particular slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from rectangles, select the rectangles rounded corners, draw maybe this much size and you can reduce the corners by dragging this small orange point dragging it outside so you end up getting this shape shape outline make it no outline then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the same object or the same shape again draw a smaller one and make this fully curved and exactly put it in the center maybe this much here and then i'm just going to insert shapes select an oval shape and draw the oval shape at the top and make sure that that is also center or you can just select all these three objects go to align and say align center and then i'm going to press ctrl a to select all go to format merge shape and say union so you got this shape so give some nice colors to it go to format format fill and just give some nice color let me just give this color and then i'm going to draw the insert uh, the inside design for that go to insert shapes and under basic shapes can you see there's something called a double brace i'm just going to select this double brace can you see this one and you can just play with this one how much you need like this design or whatever so let me just make it up and shape fill i'm going to give this color which is light yellow shape outline no outline and i will just add it here and again you have to make sure that this is properly in the center let me just increase the size a little bit and then i'll go to insert shapes select the again the rectangles rounded corner make it fully curved and give the same color no outline and just put it here attached to the first one you can go make it bring it up also so just you need to make sure that the size is okay and it is properly aligned in the center again control d one more i'm just going to add the second one here and then i'm going to select this control d and i'm going to add it here So you can see here the design is ready the inside design so i'm just going to select this align i'll just say not middle sorry align just say center 
so you got this shape i'm just going to increase the size a little bit here as well as little bit up select all this inside bring it down and control g to group it so you can see that you got this design which is uh, we can write some text here now let me just add some oval shape at the top i'll just select this oval shape and hold the shift key so that you get the perfect uh, circle and uh, put it here and shape outline i'm just going to select this outline which is dark red and weight i'm just going to give a bigger one maybe three points and shape fill i'm just going to give some light colors into this maybe this color and then i'm just going to press ctrl d to duplicate it reduce the size by holding the shift key and put it one more in between okay and then go to insert shapes and under the stars and banners i'm just going to select which one this one which is uh, let me just select the ribbon tied up i will just select this one so that i can put some text on this ribbon and give some nice color to it and no outline or i can just give a white outline also so you can see here i'm going to add a circle at the top for that go to insert shapes and select an oval shape draw a oval shape here by holding the shift key and place it here and i'm going to give some dark color to it shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate it hold the shift key and reduce the size and give as a white color and bring it exactly in the center this is the place where we need to tie the thread and then go to insert shapes I'm going to select uh, which is uh, this shape which is the flowchart preparation and give some different color to it and shape outline make it no outline and send this to back let me just increase the size a little bit So you can see here our basic design is almost ready so i need to just add some text to it and some color changes also we can do it and again if you like to do some color changes also you can do it for example let me just give some different color to it this color and inside i just want to give some other color maybe some lighter color yeah this one and the color also the shape outline also you can give some darker color and this color also i can give the same darker color and inside you can just fill some light colors also or whatever whichever way you feel better you can just do it now uh, in this one you can add some icon or text and here i'm just going to add some more text like I will just say now only make it center align and use some good strong fonts or the bold fonts so that it looks uh, for example if I use maybe not Broadway or let me just use this Britannic bold and increase the size give some nice colors
you can just add the text here and then you can add the price also now let me just change this font is not that good uh, for that there's one more font called impact you can see here and if you want you can make it somewhat loose also or you can increase the size also whichever way you can do it you can uh, make sure it's visible and here I'm just going to put for example 20 and give some different font color to it and increase the size so that the price is visible 20 again control D I'm going to make it 0 0 reduce the font size and just place it here and now we need to add the the dollar sign or any currency sign so let me just insert the dollar sign here now go to insert text box and just type the dollar sign again I'm going to set the same font which is impact give the same color and increase the size and put it here so we know that it's uh, $20 and then again some more terms and conditions whatever I'm going to add one more rectangle below you can make it fully curved and shape outline the same outline shape fill make it no fill and sorry and you can just type the terms and conditions or three days left two days left or whatever in this particular box so let me just add this text control D and bring it here reduce the size I will just say three maybe a little bit increase the size and I will just say that again select this this font control D 3 days only left align reduce the size and copy it here So you can see here I've just put that okay the price now is only $20 and it's available only for three days and if you want terms and conditions apply or some other text you can just add it there and if you want you can add some icon there go to insert icons maybe you can add for example this icon which is this icon just say insert and again give some light colors to it which is visible and reduce the size and put it here so you can see here our design is almost ready now let me just add uh, a thread go to insert shapes and select a curve and then I'm just going to double click give the same color and increase the weight and so you can see here our design is ready I'm just going to select this press ctrl G and with this also ctrl G so it's uh, I have grouped all then go to animations enable the animation pane I'm going to just say fly in fly in I will just say from top and then you can just go to timings you can make it maybe fast effect increase the bounced effect and just say okay so you can see here the animation is also done and if you want to copy more press ctrl D and just change the color of this to maybe not the same color I've used 
maybe this color and one more thing which i forgot to tell you people is that you can just select this again control c and control v and you can give the outline only which the same color and shape fill make it no fill and shape outline you can give a dotted outlines reduce the size and just put it here see and then you can do the animation that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye